So I'm, I'm doing this video because of an issue with Dometic. A um, couple weeks ago we noticed that there was some leaking around the base of the toilet. And I have a picture here. And it was uh, literally around the base of the toilet on the floor. And so um, I said, well, it's got to be, you know, the typical thing that you would think it would be would be the donut down below leaking into the floor and um you know not sealing well to the flange so i said okay no problem you know i've done plumbing before so i took the toilet off and i looked and there was only water around the edge and it was dirty water it was stinky water which is one of the reasons i noticed you know that it wasn't a real good thing so i proceeded to look on the underside of the toilet i actually had a video of this but it it got deleted off my wife's phone so I look under the edge of the toilet, like, you know, turn it on its side and look under it. And I notice that there's like, you know, a drip line running down like the inside of that in, like, uh, if you, you can kind of look up into there. And I kind of noticed a drip on the edge from high up inside. So a little bit more investigating. And it was going as high as that middle joint there, kind of like where the, where the top bowl meets the bottom, the base. And what's in there is the mechanical stuff, like the uh, the flush valve, they call it a ball valve, and a ball seal, and some other stuff. And the mechanical part of it, where you push the toilet, you push the pedal, and the thing opens up. So um, I looked up inside, and I saw four screws. Took a long screwdriver, opened it up, and there was a seal inside. And there's a rubber seal that seals the two pieces, the top piece to the bottom piece. And I kind of was able to follow where the drip was, and it ended up that... Um, it's a faulty design, literally a faulty design. So I start looking online and I'm finding all these people with rotten floors. And what's happening is, is the seal where they have the seal where it meets the top and the bottom, there's little tabs that align the top and the bottom and they left holes in the rubber seal. And the water is literally, you know, when you, when you go to flush it, is it's going past the edge and it's kind of just collecting on the, on the edge of that. Then it goes into another area and it sits there until that little area fills up and then it overflows into the into the lower half. And it's it's I mean it's so obvious that it's a design flaw. And um, so my concern, the reason I wanted to put this video up is the Dometic 300 series toilets are all the same. And I go online and I hear of all these people with rotten rotten floors and smell issues in the RV. Now, the way that I remedied this is after I took the four screws apart and I separated the two, um, I took the gasket and I made sure it was clean and dry. And then I used a, a sealant. And the sealant that I used, here, I'll go ahead and show you what I used. And, of course, I went to look for it and I can't find it. And I actually think I used the last of it, the last of the tube. But basically, I, I would say you could use um, an actual silicone or clear silicone. Um, would probably be the best because it remains flexible and uh, you take that rubber again the rubber that's between the two again between the bowl and the base right there and once you take the four screws out take it dry it clean it clean that whole area and put that RTV silicone sealant um, get it into that gasket really good and then once you lay the gasket on the on the bowl base um, um, or before you lay it on the bowl base put a, a bead of rubber silicone lay it on there Put another bead of rubber silicone on the other side. Make sure that the top edge is clean and then seat the two. Um, I did that. I have zero leaks and that seems to solve the issue. But again, this is an issue that Dometic knows about and it's online. And they, I guess, don't have a fix because there really isn't a fix. Because there's no actual seal between where the water is hitting and it's kind of leaching into that area. And then leaking and then filling up and overflowing into the inside of the bowl. So, um, on the underside of the toilet, I should say. And it's, again, ruining people's RVs. I don't get it. It just makes, doesn't make any sense to me. So, there you go. Any comments or questions, please feel free to ask. And that's it.